To give the impression that these edges are really hot, we need to do a few things. We're going to darken the render layer itself and the cloud layers behind it just to create more contrast. Then we're going to overlay the luminance layer, but uh, that won't be enough. We need to make some adjustments to it and then create these flying particles, which uh, you can see flying around the logo, almost like little pieces being blown off as it's burning away. And then finally, we're going to create these heat distortion effects, which you see uh, on the very edges there. So let's do all that in our main comp. Let's go to the logo and text. I'm going to open this, go to the main render, and I'll go to effect, color correction and exposure. And I'm just going to set this to negative one. Let's go to the clouds layer. And between the lightning layers and the cloud layers, I'm going to create a new solid, just a black solid. Click OK. And I will set the opacity to 65. This is going to make the clouds very dark, which in turn is going to make the lightnings uh, more visible and, and a lot more dramatic. In the main comp, things are looking quite dark, and this is great. Let's go to our project tab and we want to get the luminance comp. So let's go into our pre comps. And uh, if you remember, we prepared this at the very beginning. Let's just drop this above our logos and text. I'm just going to right click, go to blending mode and add. And already this is starting to look better. I'm going to open this though. Go to the original image sequence, go to effect color correction and I will get a curves adjustment. I want to make this a lot stronger. So let's just create some contrast using the curve. Just like this. And this is the difference. It's just a little bit more intense. Then I want to go to effect stylize and glow. I will lower the threshold to 30. Put the radius up to 60 and the glow intensity to three. In the main comp, it looks like this. Next, we're gonna go to effect, distort and turbulent displace. Let's set the amount to 100, but the size to just five. And I'm gonna add an expression to the evolution. Press AOT and click the keyframe next to it. And I'll just type time times 100 which means this is going to animate automatically throughout the sequence. Now you can see the edges are almost moving and uh, this just adds more visual interest than if they were just still like this. In the main comp, this is what it looks like now. Those edges looking hotter and hotter with each operation that we do. 